underrated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. level, from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. Here is Ladies Bruce and Bob. gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Mumbai, India, he's on. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. My crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is, who knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just misses with a left hook there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Misses again with a right punch. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Just misses there with the left. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Try to establish that jab. Pushes forward with the strikes and gets the takedown. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Nice leg kick. What a punch. Nice body kick.
gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Unable to connect it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. And that left hook landed on the button. Three minutes remain in the round. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Lee. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Looking to set up that head kick again. This one does not find the hole. And they separate. And he landed the right hand there. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Big head kick. Big body kicks. Oh, what a punch. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the taller fighter. And I think I just heard Daniel Cormier say, I wish I was a little bit tall. You're a baller, though. Big punch from the clinch. What a body kick. Ooh, what a punch. Checks the leg kick. Pretty good right hand. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. All right, so he continues to land that jab. His changes levels now, DC. Oh, man, he was in a single down to a high crotch. Oh! Welcome to the Cormier Express. <laughs> oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Big kick. Right hand upstairs. Five minutes in the books. Let's get you some highlights from that previous round, DC. I don't care how strong your core is, you can't take too many more of those body kicks. John, you can't train for that. I mean, you cannot train to take those types of body kicks. They start to really wear at your gas tank, and then you start to make mistakes. When you take that many body kicks, you start making mistakes, and before you know it, the fight's over. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. All right, man. Set those All right, round two is now upon us. Pretty competitive first five minutes, I thought. It's exactly what we expected. We expected when we saw this on the match sheet that these two guys were evenly matched. Let's see who really takes control as we go into the second round. Big punch lands. with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Head kick lands. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, oh. no soda. It's one and done more often. Oh, man, look at that. Victor perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful kick. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. 
Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Liver kick. Obvious redness on the right side of his body. Can't take many of those. You better check. Three minutes remain in the round. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Plus right hand is true. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head. Oh, oh look at this out of nowhere. It's flashy but effective. Even Ari roll into a potential heel hook. This could get interesting. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's gotta grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Fighters back to their feet here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Lands the right hand. Straight right hand now, just misses. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course, he mixed it up. He went high when his opponent got him going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. He went high on that one. That one was going to end the fight. <laughs> Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for Kimura here. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. This guy can't do anything to you anyway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. I expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. So he gets caught with that punch. Oh, 
Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. How good is that right hand? Right hand upstairs. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Nice punch, man. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big leg kick land. Cable inches right there. Wow, wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice straight punch. That right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes him stop throwing. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Ooh, blocks the shot. Good stick. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. And they separate. Recovery, man. Right back to his feet. He's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, he lands a hook there, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. When you throw a hook, it can go around the guard of your opponent. Big body kick lands. Lands flush with that right hand. Just out of range with that strike. Wow. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Not there. Unable to connect with a right hook. Nice leg kick land. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. And that one certainly found the target. Oh, and he's back up again. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Very tricky throws that body kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Oh, home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high. Now he's got him hurt bad. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. You gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides here. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Woo. Nice work. Here, 
That is sick. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. that jab once again. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. And they separate. <laughs> well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. He throws the right hand there. Oh, huge block! He go. He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice one, two there. Oh, worked hard to get up again, but he looks like he's compromised. Just missing on the high kick there. And now connects with the right. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Checks that leg kick. And he comes through with a big knee. Get right here. And they separate. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Drive his shin into the whole body with that body kick. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. You gotta be careful with his head when throwing that jab. That's a beautiful body kick. Oh, such a natural jab, and there it is again as he gets the hand right to the target. I mean, right to the target. Now, it's like a dude sitting there with a red target on his nose, just getting beat up. Hit. Bullseye after bullseye after bullseye. I love his ability to faint once and then throw that jab oh, right behind oh, him. Oh, one of the best head kicks you'll ever see. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, Situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Got clip with the right hand. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Nice 
body kick right on the oh. Entertaining scrap so far. So a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at this fifth. And final round. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Slips. Just unable to quite find that range. Right hook to the body. And he caught the kick. We'll see where he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. Got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Beautiful kick. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice kick. Counters with the left hook. Nicely done there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Right under the elbow. Body keep playing. Straight right, he misses. Visibly limping here. Real nice body kick lands. Oh, how about this kicking game on full display tonight? Kicks back to back, truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Three minutes now to go, two to side this one. Straight punch lands. Nice. Lee gets hit with that hook. He's got to be careful here. And there comes the separation now. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Wow! He's, He's hurt pass. Back to the feet. Side control now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Back mount now. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Trying to set up a choke here. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, readjust the lock, and now it looks like he's got it. There is the tap. So he submits courtesy of the rear naked choke. That guy's got a squeeze on him. He does a great job securing the position, getting under the neck, and then hiding his hands in order to get the finish. Fantastic performance by this fighter. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble 
the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by tap out, Diesel. All right, so there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. And his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight, got the submission victory.